your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Well, it's official today has been the hottest day so far this summer. 96 degrees up until now. Last Friday at 94 was the hottest. Even hot in the mountains. 89 degrees today in Asheville. Now, when you compare this heat to last summer, it's no competition. We've had 17 days at or above 90 degrees so far this summer. At this same point last summer, we had already had 38 days. So uh, nearly double the amount of 90 degree days last year. It was hot and it was dry. This year has been a bit more wet. Uh, and humid, uh, so pick your poison there. 95 degrees right now in Greenville. It's 93 in Anderson. It's 91 in Clemson. The humidity, although it's not terribly high right now, does add insult to injury, making it feel like 97 in Greenville, 97 in Clemson, the 100s in Northeast Georgia from Elberton to Toccoa. Now, the SkyCam network across the area shows we've got sunshine from Greenville to Anderson, from Asheville to Spartanburg, Lawrence to Hendersonville. No vertical development to the clouds. The only shower that we have across the area is moving out of Oconee County into Stevens County. So, Tacoa, you're about to get some much needed relief from the heat. The only lucky area across the area, really. We've got one shower now trying to form in southern Lawrence County right there. So, where you do find an isolated shower or two, it'll cool you down from the 90s to the 70s. Uh, not so much in the North Carolina mountains. One rain shower there just west of Brevard. That's about it. Latest Future Plus model shows if we get a shower, it'll be in the next hour or two. Other than that, we are dry heading into the overnight hours. We'll fall to the lower to middle 70s across the upstate upper 60s in western North Carolina. For tomorrow, a quick warm up. 87 degrees at 10 a.m. Yeah, it's going to be a scorcher. Mid to upper 90s by the end of the daytime with only about a 20% chance of a passing shower or storm. In the Asheville Hendersonville area, 79 at 10 a.m., 89 by 2 p.m. And then a better chance for storms in the mountains tomorrow, about a 30 to 40% chance. In Spartanburg, mainly dry tomorrow, mid and upper 90s by the evening hours. And it's going to stay hot, still 82 degrees by 10 p.m. And in Anderson, loads of sunshine, 93 by 2 p.m., Mid and upper 90s before it's all said and done. Let's show you what it'll feel like tomorrow. The best you can hope for 77 degrees. First thing tomorrow morning as the day goes on, it'll get scorched and hot. It'll feel like the 100s area wide tomorrow afternoon. Now by Saturday morning again, the coolest part of the day still only 81 degrees as the afternoon bears on. We're talking mid 100s out there, so 103, 104, 105. Could be dangerously hot out there, even if you're out by the pool or the lake. Future Plus shows as we go through the day tomorrow, we'll start off dry, about a 20% chance of a passing storm again. Most of us will stay dry. Now by Saturday, a better chance for storms in the North Carolina mountains, but it's Sunday that we'll have our best chance for showers and storms across the area, about a 30 to 40% chance by the afternoon hours. The four day plus looks like this. We will see sunshine over the next 48 hours, very little to no chance for rain, close to 100 degrees each day. Now humidity does return to the forecast by Sunday. That can actually be a good thing, I guess. It'll give us more cloud cover, which keeps temperatures in the lower 90s. Also, we'll get more of those showers to cool us down. But this is dangerous. Yeah, be careful. It really is. Thanks, Chris.